Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. So over the weekend, I was just reviewing some longer term charts. It's always a good idea to review the longer term picture as well. So as you can see, this is a six month daily chart. So we had a little bit of a downturn in May and then from May there was a nice upward move. And if you were looking at uh, the custom RSI, if you had this indicator, uh, you could have stayed in the trade pretty much all the way through here and that would be much more of a longer term even uh, you know slightly longer term than a uh, than a typical swing trade would be but the custom rsi actually helps you stay in that trade but what i'm looking at is this action in the recent past so we're looking at the about the last one month or so and you can see that we of course we had a nice downturn but what is uh, intriguing is let me do uh, let me just draw a trend line here if you can see from here onwards, uh, if you say that is the top end of the channel and if you draw the bottom end of the channel there um, and uh, take it all the way here, you can see that we are in a horizontal uh, sort of range here and uh, we are still in that in, in that range. But what, what, what you can notice is there are some big moves coming in. The big move started over here right after the Fed announcement. Uh, but we're seeing some very big moves and of course Friday was a major move uh, based on uh, uh, President Trump's comments that uh, all US companies should be uh, pulling out of uh, China and of course over the weekend the G7 is going on and so it continues to remain a news driven market uh, with uh, you know some of the rhetoric actually uh, doubling down uh, although President Trump showed some signs of uh, uh, de-escalating these uh, trade tensions but uh, at the end of the day we remain in a very news driven uh, and event driven cycle you know it could be the Fed there's the Fed meeting going on in Wyoming uh, the central bankers meeting and so anything that comes out of that could could impact the markets anything related to the US China talks could impact the market so this is the kind of environment we are in and it's actually ideal for day trading because on a day-to-day -day basis, you can take advantage of big moves either up or down uh, and, uh, you know, putting uh, any other kind of trade in this kind of an environment uh, is a little dicey. So even in our swing trading program, we are taking very cautious steps here because this is the kind of market environment we are in. So going forward, of course, uh, there could be some good news on the US-China front. There could be some uh, bad news the next day. Uh, you know, it, it's just been going on for a long time. And now it seems like it's happening much more regularly. The rhetoric is uh, uh, getting escalated, and uh, you know it. Uh, and, and, and of course, uh, you know it all remains to be seen uh, how uh, both parties who blinks first. Basically, it's a uh, you know who blinks first game that's going on. Uh, but this is not good for the markets, but it's excellent for day trading. So if you've seen the SPX ticks, now you uh, you can see that over here. But this is a longer term chart. What I want to drill down is the five day, five minute. And as you can see over here on Friday, this particular move from here onwards, right until uh, you know this point, uh, uh, was a uh, was about a 20, 25 point move, which uh, uh, which would be about a five to six thousand dollar profit right there. Uh, the rules are very simple. Once you get a persistent, you don't want to trade in the first half an hour to forty five minutes. After that, once you get some persistence in terms of either red dots or green dots, then you go for the trade and you don't get faded out by one dot in the other direction. So uh, until you see two dots on the five minute chart, you, you, you want to remain in the trade. So over here, basically, we would have taken the trade right here at 28.95 and you would have gotten out after you see this one. So somewhere over here, 28.75, that's a 20 point move on the on the SPX. And uh, that would have resulted in about, uh, uh, you know, I would say about five to six thousand uh, dollars in profit just on that one particular trade. And then, of course, there were some other smaller trades as well uh, going into the into the day. And there was a nice trade at the end also over here. So the S&P going into Monday, uh, it uh, it remains to be seen what the, comes out of the G7 because any announcements from there could have impact. It also remains to be seen uh, what happens at the. Uh, central bankers meeting in Wyoming. So all of these are playing into the markets. It's uh, really a day trading environment right now and uh, you can take maximum advantage of that using the SPX ticks and the custom RSI. If you have any questions on those, please email me at info at optiontiger.com. Thank you. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions, you can go to this bit.ly link uh, bit.ly slash SPX algo and you can find more information on how to get these indicators. Thank you.